today we're doing some cool stuff this is this is a feature i built i don't know maybe the first time i built this thing was back in 2017 um but i'm really glad to rebuild it um as i prep for publishing some previs um what we're going to talk about today is well, i'll just open the previs and we'll get going so i've been working on this previs sequence in maya um we use the build button to build it. And then what I've been doing is um, I've been, let's see, let's get some cameras up here. I've been setting up this really basic 3D environment so that I can, um, so I can just start working on the stuff. And I've just blocked in shapes. So if we go to our I really need to put a button up for the camera sequencer. If we go here and we look in here, see how I've set up uh, the geo to, to match positions on the previs. And then I've done a, or on the, um, the thing. So I'm trying to build myself a little bit of a world in here in 3D. And in here, we can start to see that. So if I look in the perspective, then I've started to got, I've got these like bug creatures over here and I've got all these scientists over here represented as little spheres, but we need to, we basically need to start cleaning this thing up so that we can start publishing it. So to do that right now, this is just geometry, but as you can see here, oh boy, I didn't save my stuff last time. Dang it. Uh, we'll be fine though. All right, so if, as you can see here, oh, actually I'm fine. I already created published models for a couple of these scientists as I was working on this publish selected asset button. Um, so we're gonna play with that a little bit more. For example, we're gonna try to publish scientist F now. So for that guy, we're just gonna hit the button. We're gonna hit create asset. It's going to create the asset in shot grid. It's going to create the asset on disk. It's going to save this file to the source file of that asset. It is then going to load that. And this one worked out properly. So now all we got to do is get the naming right. Another tutorial will be the creation of a renamer tool. It's something that you need very often. Um, suit material. And then I'm just going to call this suit. Geo. I'm just hacking some stuff in so it'll make it past the publish, but we would normally do this with a renamer tool so that it is standardized. And then that is MDL. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing we did last time. We'll grab that, go to UV editor, grab our shell, scale it, and boom then we can publish it. So we'll go back to Alchemy Shelf, hit the Publish button, run all. Yep, those are good. First pass, boom. There we go. So once that's good, we'll close this one up. We'll go back in here. We now have this Scientist F locator. And um, there's some things that are cool going on under the hood. So like if I look at the attribute editor, the way we know what's going on with this is we have this extra attribute that tells us the path object of the thing that we published. And then Alchemy can then look for the published version based off of this path, which is super cool. Um, all right, so now that we're back in here, and you could do a lot of these at once, probably the way I would actually do this is just cruise through and publish all these, then I'd have a big old list of locators, but for our purposes, we're gonna hit that replace locators button, and scientist F is now in the exact location that scientist F was at when we published. So. It's a pretty cool workflow. You can just go through, turn all of these into references, and then it will pass the previs publish. And everything in here will be these nice references that we can use for all kinds of awesome things later. We can use it for rebuilding layouts slash previs in Houdini, Blender, Unreal Engine, 
Unity, all of the DCCs. We can use it for creating um, USD files, which we're going to take you through as well. So there, there's all kinds of um, really powerful things you can do once you have good layouts that are organized the way that we have them in here. Now, this is not a do-all be-all. This is the way that we tend to do it. We're matching this stuff to the short names of our asset types and um, given the layout artist slash previs artist stuff to work with like a lights folder and some maybe if they're doing Maya effects or other stuff. But um, this just gets you in a really good spot. So this is how we make that very, very easy to get assets published. Um, we might as well show you the shot grid of these too, because it's pretty cool. Sorry, just logging in over here on the other screen. All right, so our JLT projects, if we go into assets, we now have Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we have them. They just didn't have thumbnails, so I didn't see them. <laughs> so we've got all these scientists in here now. And we've got Bug Lord. And we've got all these on disk. So this is pretty awesome. Um, I'm super stoked to have this stuff starting to work. It is very fun to see come together. And um, it really satisfying to see that like, as a previous artist, I can make assets that will go to the end of the film if we want them to. And this gives the modelers something to start with as well. Now, if you wanted to make a review and upload that and do all that for each one of these, you could. I don't know that it's worth it at this point. Um, you would just go through the same process that we went through with Jack. At this point, we're just trying to nail some scaffolding down on the previs so we don't need all that stuff the other thing that's cool about alchemy under the hood is every one of these created all of the task templates for these assets as well so these are ready to go production can start bidding stuff out they can start planning everything is there and ready to go it is pretty cool and it's all happening sort of magically behind the scenes <laughs>